It's Tricky Thursday again. I'm your girl Trisha, your self-proclaimed pattern nerd. I'm here to talk about fabric storage and how to keep it organized. I recently, as I know a lot of us have, reorganized my space and I asked people if they wanted to know some organizational tips for your fabric. And believe me, I have a lot of fabric. <laughs> so I have a lot of different ways that I keep it organized. So I'll show you all the ways that I keep my fabric organized and maybe you'll like one or two of them and they'll be helpful for you. So first of all, if you look behind me, I have these bolts. And sometimes if you buy a lot of fabric at the fabric store, they'll actually give you the fabric on these bolts. And when they do that, I save them. So even if I use all of that fabric and I don't need this bolt anymore, I'll use it again for another piece of fabric so that I have my most commonly used, like this is denim and I have my interfacing stored on that. A lot of times I'll buy interfacing on the bolt. So I have a few of my like use all the time fabrics on these bolts and they're pretty easy to use and it's like reusing something you already have. Next I have, when I have big yardages of stuff, I will put them on a roll and the roll is really nice especially if it's a fabric that's really heavy and would take up a lot of space somewhere else because the other way I like to store fabric is in these bins like this and I like to get either wire bins or see-through bins and I'll show you my other bin storage as well because that way I can get an idea of what's in here. Um, I know some people are super good and will take little swatches and have organizational notebooks that they have with how much yardage and everything. I can never get myself enough together, <laughs> together enough to do that. But I like to fold, like I put similar fabrics. So this is all of my stretch fabric, stretch cottons. I also have spandex in here. Um, so cotton, spandex, and that sort of thing. And I kind of fold them. I try to keep like fabrics together. And then over here, I have more of my glittery, costumey, more sparkly spandexes, um, usually with a finish or if there's something special. And then I have my velvets here too. And then let me take you over to my other kind of fabric storage area. And I also hang my fabric. If you have some hangers, that's really nice also. So I'll show you those two things as well. So over here I have more of my fabric bin storage and I like the clear ones a little better than the solid ones but as you can see I got a little fancy with some of the labels but you can just do anything you want but I can kind of already see what's in there and then I just have it neatly folded so that when I open the box I can see all of what I have. And last but not least, I have my hanging fabric storage. So if you have some nicer fabrics or some thicker fabrics, then you don't want to use the roll. And sometimes that takes up a lot of space. This is a great way to save space and keep your nice fabrics hanging and, and not take up drawer or box space. So here are my hanging fabrics. And you can see I just have them hung on regular hangers and I can still see what everything is. So it's a great way to also store your fabrics. I hope that some of these ideas were helpful in you organizing your fabric storage. Let's start 2021 off being organized. Talk to you later, see you next week.